I have no point to get disappointed. As a communist, uh, I cannot uh, think that uh, next time also I will continue in the cabinet. We should uh, examine our society. There are inequalities and there are some kind of um, uh, operations. The people are getting more wages in Kerala than other parts of our country. But the mindset of the people, uh, we tried to get rid of the feudal ideology feudalist uh, nature, the uh, caste preference or uh, the superstitions, etc. Now also uh, the families are patriarchal. Openly they are not saying caste, but uh, inside some people are keeping this caste minded. Women should come outside. Women are equal individuals. We are thinking that we have no politics. We are sitting inside the home. Uh, our responsibility is only inside the home. What happened to the society? The society will not change. Our ancestors, they worked hard to get some privileges, get some rights. Hi, welcome to the News Minute. This is Cora Abraham here and I'm joined by the former Health Minister of Kerala and the current MLA, Shalija teacher. Teacher, welcome to the News Minute. Thank teacher, you. firstly, we are here for uh, with the autobiography of your book, uh, My Life as a Comrade. Firstly, tell me, uh, what made you write this, uh, co-author this autobiography, especially when you you know, you still have a long way to go as a politi near political career? Uh, yes, I actually I didn't think about writing an autobiography, you know. This, uh, I think uh, it is a memoir, uh, right. more than an autobiography, it is a memoir. Uh, because I have some memories of the, uh, of my childhood, uh, not my uh, experiences, my grandma's and grand uncle's experiences mm. in that society. That was in the uh, 30s, 40s and 50s, you know. Mm. At that time, uh, Malabar, Kerala was not formed at that time. Uh, Malabar region of Kerala uh, was uh, under the feudal customs, feudal system, right. social system was like that. And the caste oppression, caste discrimination, everything was there under the landlordism. And my grandma and grand uncles were fighting against that, you know. At the same time, my grand uncles were fighting against uh, British rule also, uh, joining the independent movement, independence movement. And I heard all the stories in my childhood from my grandma's mouth, you know. And at that time, I want uh, uh, to write something about my grandma, actually. And when I become a political worker and a politician and a minister, I have so many experience, like all other uh, politicians. And when I become minister, uh, health minister in Kerala last time, the, it was a crucial period, you know, so many kinds of uh, these natural calamities and pandemics, etc. And a bitter experience, actually. But... Uh, how we tackled that problems, that was a, a good experience. Now I am saying like that. Mm. But at that time, it was not so good. But we got some uh, strength and some experience from that problem itself, you know. And I want to write some of my experience uh, for the future, uh, that young ones and uh, youths, uh, I want to give that uh, experiences. And I am thinking about writing that experience also. At that time, uh, the Jagarnat books from Delhi, Chikki Sarkar called me and uh, they said they want to write a book on me uh, and uh, I discussed with my colleagues and they are progressive publishers mm. and we started writing the book. But uh, when we started writing, the experiences are too long, you know. Mm -hmm. We cannot uh, make it in a purview of a single book. But they want my childhood and they want the experience as a minister. In between, experience as a politician. Uh, that is also too long. And that I cannot include uh, the anecdotes in this book. So we cannot say it is, a, uh, it is an autobiography. It is only a memoir, you know. Teacher, in your book, you spoke about your grandmother and all the customs and traditions that were existing at that time, right? In your, uh, in, in, in your, in your time growing up. Looking back at the present condition in Kerala, how much do you think has changed from that time of your grandmother and how what do you think should be changed now going forward? Yes, situations changed a lot. 
and advanced society advanced a lot you know uh, especially after the formation of uh, kerala state our country got independence uh, uh, in 1947 and after that 1950s we were forming the language linguistic state uh, throughout the country and the malayalam speaking area uh, become kerala previously it was under uh, three uh, local rulers, uh, la landlords uh, and rajas, three three places are, were there, uh, this Malabar, Kuchin and uh, Travancore. Okay. And all these portions joined together to become Kerala. And when Kerala was formed, because of this great struggle of peasants and agricultural workers against British rule and against landlordism, communism became prominent in that area, you know, in Kerala. And uh, through the election, uh, through ballot paper, a communist government uh, came in power in Kerala in 1957. And that government took uh, some modern decisions or uh, legislations, uh, very uh, revolutionary resolutions, we can say, revolutionary legislation in Kerala Assembly. For example, the stay of ev eviction uh, from the land. Uh, up to that time, the landlords can evict anyone from the land because the poor people were have no ownership on land. But the communist government uh, stayed that uh, eviction and uh, make it low after, after that. And after that, the people got some piece of land and they have some dignity. They can send their children to school. And that government started uh, public schools for poor uh, people, agricultural and peasants. Uh, uh, the workers' uh, uh, children and the public education system also started. And the public health system also, Dr. A. R. Menon was the health minister at that time and he started uh, building the public health uh, hospitals uh, throughout Kerala. And it was beginning, it was a beginning. And after that, uh, whenever the left front came, they uh, enacted uh, these revolutionary laws. Everyone acted, but uh, whenever left came, they enacted some pro-people law uh, in Kerala. And that way, we, uh, we advanced their law. Not only that thing, but the social reformers like Sri Narayana Guru and the progressive thinkers like MRB, BT, Vatadaripad, etc. And inside the society, in the society, uh, changes occurred. That is saying caste or uh, uh, the caste discrimination, that is a bad thing. People began to think like that. And secularism became prominent in Kerala. And we fought for democracy. And the living condition also changed a lot. In 1930s, even up to 50s, there were two little huts for the right. poor peasants and agricultural workers. When in the rainy season, all the rainwater will go inside the house and uh, they have to sleep there. And they have nothing to, they had nothing to eat at that time. In a poor condition, they were starving actually, you know. And situation changed a lot. Russian shops come and good buildings come. Uh, they got jobs and uh, wages for the jobs. Wages increased uh, because of the struggle conducted by agricultural workers, a very good increase in wages. Nowadays, the, for agricultural work, uh, uh, Kerala uh, is giving, our people are getting more wages in Kerala than mm. other parts of our country. That way, the human development index, uh, that is, he, Kerala is first in the human development index right. in the country, uh, changed a lot. People got education and uh, total literacy campaign was also there. We formed the Kudumbasri system, self-help groups for women. That is a model thing, you know. So many people are coming to study about that. And Kerala changed a lot in housing and uh, education, health, uh, health facilities, etc. There was a great change. But the mindset of the people, uh, we tried to get rid of the feudal ideology, mm -hmm. feudalist uh, nature, the... Uh, caste preference or uh, the superstitions, etc. Uh, that uh, we cannot say we get rid of it fully. There are some elements there, the false beliefs to superstitions, etc. Openly they are not saying caste 
but uh, inside some people are keeping this caste minded hmm. uh, mindedness and we have to fight against that also right teacher a lot has changed like you were saying but <coughs> one of the things that people criticize kerala despite being all the, the progressive state is that the representation of women in politics right so what do you have to say about that do you think that you don't you think <coughs> that there should be more representation of women in politics yes definitely it should become like that you know in kerala also the left parties are trying to make it good and uh, in party committees we decided that in all party branches at least two women should be there previously uh, the all the party branches are meeting at night you know uh, after the job uh, the people are coming and meeting the party branch and in that committee women it is not easy to uh, for the women to participate and uh, discussing for a long time uh, the for according because of because the women have more responsibility in houses communists are saying the household resp uh, responsibility should be uh, lowered or decrease should decrease and uh, the social uh, women should have to come out from the home to do the social responsibilities but uh, now also uh, the families are patriarchal and uh, women are inside the family and they are they cannot meet the or they cannot coming come for the meeting um, as they wish but we are trying and we are including more women so the party decided at least there should be two women and we are selecting women from our auxiliary groups and we are forming auxiliary groups and selecting women to the party committees now we almost all party branches have two more than two there are half and half in some branches there are more women than men in some branches they are coming and local also local level local committee also area committee district committee and in central committee also we are selecting women more but a lot of the question is about how you know in the government in yes. the, uh, in the parliamentary positions we have very little representation about in legislations i mean yes. uh, so uh, how does the, how can that be improved do yes, you think that should also be improved in 140 membered legislative assembly in kerala only 10 or 11 become the members there are right. only 10 percent you know and we should make it uh, um, at least 30 percent first and then to half and half you know right. 50 percent uh, we should have to do that but during the election when we decide a candidate several elements come you know to uh, the getting elected that is the first thing you know yes. to win the election there are so many things uh, uh, that come uh, in front but uh, uh, the party also decided in each and every district at least one should woman should contest you know right. one uh, definitely we, women are contesting and uh, uh, cpim is giving winning seat or uh, uh, the ma uh, ldf majority seat to uh, women also and mm. I contested in Matanur constituency last time, it was a LDF stronghold constituency there, you know. And uh, you won with a record margin as well. And this is something that a lot of people would want to ask, despite two years after the historic win, when Shalija teacher's name was not there in the cabinet, there was a huge outpour of emotions. And this was not just from <laughs> left supporters, this was from across ages, across political <laughs> affiliations. What did you feel at that moment when all these emotions were coming out and people were not uh, disappointed with your name not being featured in the cabinet? Yes, I am a communist, you know, and the Communist Party taught us that uh, both the parliamentary activities and extra parliamentary activities are same for a communist, you know. Uh, I have to work with the party f as party committee and organizing the peasants and agricultural workers and women and youths and everything and after that we are forming sometimes governments also and uh, there are so many workers and leaders like me in my party you know once party decided to uh, decided me to become the minister give the portfolio of health and uh, social justice and women and children i tried my best to, to work uh, on that portfolio and uh, uh, i am satisfied that i started some basic changes all uh, in all this department not only the crisis like nipa and covid but uh, in the public health system uh, we uh, my team worked hard to 
have a change according to the modern, according to the contemporary situation uh, in our society. There are some novel projects there and I also want to complete that project to get fulfilled the aim we set. But as a communist, I cannot uh, think that uh, next time also I will continue in the cabinet because we are changing every time or sometimes we are continuing. It is according to the decision of the party. And we decided the second time we got government, we discussed and we decided that all the ministers should change and fresh hands should come except CM, chief minister. And I also agree with that party decision because I am sure that uh, the LDF government is continuing uh, because of that our project. Our project means uh, it is according to the policy of a, a left democratic front, you know and left party and that policy also will continue. So, I am satisfied. I have no point to get disappointed and I am now looking whether it is continuing or not and if it is not continuing, I will get disappointed, uh, but they are continuing, uh, we are continuing that thing and there is no point to get disappointed right. on that. Teacher, like I said before, a lot of women especially from all ages including my grandmother, like she's, they, they all look up to you. Uh, so, he, so, what is your, uh, what would you want to tell women <coughs> out there who want to come out of their homes and do something for society? What, because I, in yes. your book you had quoted that when you have a philosophy that is, la that is larger than or a cause that is larger than your life, you know, there is, there is a point to it, right? What do you have to say about that? Yes. Um, I want to say the same thing that uh, we are equal, you know, mm. men and women are equal. And uh, equal means we should have to work for the society, you know. What is our responsibility? Staying in home, preparing food and eating and uh, simply sleeping, that is not uh, our responsibility to the society. Our ancestors, they worked hard to get some privileges, get some rights and we become now good human beings more than uh, we are enjoying the rights of the human beings little bit. And now our society, we should uh, examine our society, there are inequalities and there are some kind of um, uh, oppressions, everything here you know. And we should make the society corrected and give a more uh, good society for the future generation you know. We should think about the future generation. If we are keeping quiet, the half of the human being, the half part of the citizen in our country, we are thinking that we have no politics, we are sitting inside the home, uh, our responsibility is only inside the home, what happened to the society? The society will not change. So we should come outside as men and uh, all other uh, human beings, we are also uh, citizens of our country, we should uh, make it sure that our country is democratic, we should make it sure that our country is secular and our democracy means equal opportunity to everyone. We should achieve that aim. Getting independence simply does not mean getting democratic, you know. We should work hard to achieve the democracy in India, you know. So women should come outside, women are equal individuals and free individuals and uh, we should stand on our legs at first and held our head above and we should become earning member. Economically, politically, socially we should be free. So uh, without the uh, limitation of age or uh, caste or religion, all the women should come outside the home. It does not mean uh, uh, we are not uh, abandoning the home, you know, home is a unit of the society. We should do the responsibility to home, the children, we should develop or we should uh, brought up the children for as a future good citizens. Uh, so we should come out and the knowledge we got, the degree we got, the academic uh, knowledge we attained, that uh, is not uh, only ours, you know, that is a public property that should be used for common good, you know, the greater common good. Uh, and we should uh, have some entrepreneurship and some social service work, etc. So every woman and every man should work uh, hand in hand
to make the society uh, more better than now. Thank you so much, Alija teacher, for taking your time to speak to the news minute. Thank you, dear.